Scholars have stated that the Messenger of Allah has seven rights upon us, and they are the following ones. To believe in him. This entails believing in his prophethood and in Allah's message he brought. Allah says, Believe therefore in Allah and his messenger and the light which he have sent down. To obey him. It is not enough to believe in him. Instead, true faith necessitates that we be guided by his message and obey his demands. Allah says, he who obeys the messenger has obeyed Allah. To emulate his example. Allah sent his prophet as an example to be followed. Allah says, Indeed, in the messenger of Allah, you have an excellent example for whoever has hope in Allah and the last day and remembers Allah often. To love him. Indeed, love of the Prophet is what distinguishes believers in their perfection of faith. As one hadith says, None of you believes until he loves me more than his father, his children, and the whole of mankind. To honor and revere him. True faith not only demands that he be loved, but that he be honored and revered too. Allah says, Those who believe in him, honor him support him and follow the light that was sent down with him those are the successful to believe that prophethood ended with him the prophet muhammad sealed the cycle of prophethood and brought it to a close he is the last prophet after whom there will be no prophet allah says muhammad is not the father of any man among you but he is the messenger of Allah in the seal of the prophets, and Allah has knowledge of all things. To send blessings and salutations of peace upon him. Allah enjoined upon us to send blessings and salutations on his messenger and said, Allah and his angels send blessings upon the prophet. O you who believe, send blessings upon him and salute him with a worthy salutation. When you fulfill these rites, you will become a true follower of the Prophet, and Allah will reunite you with him in paradise.